Hello, welcome to A Moment to Live. Um, I'm going to be talking about one of the things I love, which is lore. So we're going to call this Livy Lore. We might have more episodes. Who knows? So in today's lore, we are looking at DPR Ian and his new album, Dear Insanity. If you do not know this artist, I recommend checking him out. His stuff is amazing, 1010. But this video is going to be very confusing and not make any sense. So, this is not for you. This is for the dreamers out there. But mainly, I'll be touching up on things that Ian has confirmed and said, and then just things I've picked up from the music videos and questions I have and whatnot. Baby, I got charts because I'm a visual person. If you have not seen all these videos, watch them first before you even watch this. But this is the order I would suggest watching it. It's actually the opposite of which it was released, except for with the exception of number two, which was like the very last one. But this is the order of the album slash also Ian confirmed that the Mito movie was later. So this would make more chronological cohesive sense. So first off, I want to start with Don't Go Insane. Uh, this is the, what I like to call the awakening of Mr. Insanity. Um, we have seen him in the other albums, but in small increments. This is where you fully start to see him taking over. And I believe that this awakening begins at Winterfall. Because it's literally in the first few lines of his lyrics. Spent my nights on melting snow, turning my sorrows into pure gold. Gold is one of Mr. Insanity's colors. Uh, we'll get back to that later in this video, but Winterfall was a turning point for Mido. It was a big moment. So not only is it in the lyrics, you see subtle hints in the video as well. Uh, you have the snow right there, but it also could be ashes. Could be a combination of both, which I think would be. Um, but anyways, the you have little hints of snow also making note that this is exactly how Mido looked during the end of Winterfall. Um, so I think that is a major transition of where Mr. Insanity starts to take over. I forgot to mention that this is how he looked in the regime tour, at least the New York one. I don't know how or what he looked like in the others, but this is the very similar to when he performed Winterfall. This is what he turned out to be at the end. So in this video, you're seeing Mr. Insanity become more and more in control. And he meets his friend, the Green. He saves him from being burned to the stake. And we don't know a ton about Mr. Green, um, but he does seem to be able to move fast through the other side. So in the teaser, we see that Mr. Insanity is trying to get through this door, but he can't because it needs a key. And some strangers inform him that he needs to go to Emerald City, which takes us to So I Danced. Um, and that's where we get to see the whole heist of Mr. Insanity and the Green trying to get the key. But it turns out the mayor of Emerald City just so happens to be Mido. And his response to that is, not around here, partner. Not around here. So then we go into Peanut Butter and Tears, where they finally go inside the door and we see this world, this part of the other side, this reality. And it seems that once inside, it is a wonderful dreamlike world, but it doesn't turn out to be everything that Mr. Insanity Ian thought it would be. Um, which makes me think that later he is trying to find a new treasure, a new answer, what you will, in the Mido movie. So now that I briefly went over what's happening in the music videos, I want to give you a guide that Ian has stated for each character so that you can visually find them in the music videos when watching them. So first off is Mido, and we know his colors are black, red, and white. This has been the order of his albums. His third album is going to be white, and it will be his final album for Mido. It'll be, it'll probably wrap up the entire story, but that will come during a later time. But anytime you see these colors, it is most likely referring to Mido. Not only do you have to be visually aware, but you also have to be aware through the music as well, because Christian has indicated 
that strings relate to Mido. So when you hear them, you know he's around. You know he's starting to take over. I also included the lighter sound. I don't know if this was a personal note, but the lighter is an indicator of a switch. Um, but I don't know if that's a switch to Mido, a switch to characters, personal in producing. You also will hear that a lot within his albums. Now, with Mr. Insanity, you'll see the colors green, gold, and purple, violet, say what you will. And his sound indicator is the wolves, the howling, or <laughs> throughout the videos. Uh, I don't know if he is having three albums for Mr. Insanity, but his first album is the green one. So I would assume, honestly, if he does do the three, it'll go gold, purple. On top of that, in many of Christian's lives, he mentions the moon phases, how each character has a moon phase. Midos is the new moon, Mr. Insanity is the full moon, and then Ian is the quarter moons, which are balance. And he'll use these on social media to let his fans know where he's at. Um, and I think this is super helpful because within this story, it can lines can be blurred on what is lore and what is present. Not only does he have this online though, he uses these phases for each character within his story. And recently on one of his lives, he mentioned that there is a third character. The third character is actually a hybrid and it's a hybrid between Mr. Insanity and Mido. And we'll get to see this character around actually Halloween. And it just so happens that this character's moon phase is an eclipse and there just so happens to be a lunar eclipse on the 28th 29th depending on where you are in the world uh right around halloween so and the seraph is more so i believe towards mido and his development not the new third character um, but the eclipse is and i think that you kind of get closer to him um, at the end of this movie, I'm curious to what the new music video will look like, um, what the character's colors will be, how, mu how much the character will be in it, uh, what, what will they look like. I'm still waiting for blue. There's been such a coding of blue. Blue has never been able to leave, but blue has never been in the forefront. Another major reason why I think maybe this new character might be blue is because they know blueberries. It talks about the eyes red, green, and blue. And we know that Mido has red and Mr. Insanity is green. This new character can be blue. There's also a lot of references to the ocean, night, nightmares, and then obviously blueberries. Christian's also slightly posted some blue things. I feel like he has to talk about blue at some point. There can't be no purpose with without blue. I guess my biggest question right now at the moment is now that I've seen a little bit backstory of Mr. Insanity, is what is in the box? What is he after? Um, is it something to defeat this new character? Is it something that creates the new character? So what has Mr. Insanity been after this whole time? Um, what has he been looking for? For this new video, will we only see part of... Um, this hybrid or will we fully get a taste of what this hybrid is like so yes this has been Livy lore i hope you enjoy i really have liked this album and i am excited to hear more of the storyline what happens between mido and mr insanity uh, the dpr they're always like putting it to the max which is wild with the small amount of crew that they have which they do massive scale productions they're, they're top notch uh, I still can't get over the visual effects of So I Danced. I would have sobbed if I had to edit that. There's some talented people out there. <laughs> but yes, I will probably, I will, after the, um, this other video song, I don't know, comes out, maybe I'll do one on Mido. I just haven't arranged all my thoughts on Mido. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.